Hi everyone, it's Tracy from Cheeky Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I have a few Christmas journals here and I've made pockets for all of them in the front. So my plan today is to make an index card for them. Over there, I haven't finished the journals completely yet, but since doing this voiceover I have, and they are uploaded on my Etsy store. So I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to see more of them. I am going to do a flip through of the journals really soon, so that might be up on my channel in the next week, maybe earlier. And then um, if you want to see more photos, I've also uploaded some on my Instagram and all the links will be down below. So basically what I'm doing is making these index cards. I actually don't know if that's the correct terminology, but that's what I'm going to go for. And what it basically is, um, for me anyway, at the in the front of the card I'm decorating it and at the back I'm leaving a blank space where I usually just write some of my personal information. Also where I'm living at that stage when I'm doing this journal and just uh, what the journal is all about and why I'm doing it. And I think in years to come it would be interesting to see where you lived at that stage and um, why you decided to do it. Or if somebody else might read it in your family one day, you never know. It gives them some background information. Um, and I think it would be really interesting to know those things. You can also add a photo of yourself at the back. Um, and I think that would be nice to look back on as well and see um, how young you were or whatever it might be. Uh, so that's what I'm intending it for, but you can just do journaling at the back of it and tip it in somewhere in the journal or place it in a pocket. You really don't have to use it in that form, but for these journals, that's what I'm intending it to be. So I have used some Tim Holtz ephemera pieces. I picked out a few Santas because I think they will be really good focal points. And I have decided to do a background as well. And I'm using some music paper and also text. The text that I'm using there is from an old German book. And I really love that text. It always makes me think of Christmas. I don't know why, but it does. And then on this one that I'm working, I'm also using some brown matte paper. I am adhering the paper to the card just with a boss stick glue stick that works perfectly it really sticks well if you apply enough glue and then I've just gone around with the distress ink just to distress those edges and make it a bit more vintage I went with vintage photo my go-to colors are always vintage photo or the tea stained one it just makes it um, look more vintage and then these ephemera pieces I am going to glue down with a wet glue just to make sure that they don't come off. And I am also using little bits and pieces in between with the Santas. I think it just brings more interest. These cards aren't really complicated to make. They are so easy. I think they have just enough on them. It's not too much, not too little but you can make or add as much or as little as you would like. You really can't go wrong with it. Just um, place the things on there that you love to look at. And just as long as you're happy with it, that's the only thing that matters. Never compare your work to others or think that yours aren't good enough.
have some leftover scrapbook paper here from the pages that I've worked into the journal. I'm just going through all the patterns and colors and seeing which one will fit which card the best. And what I'm going to do is I'm making sort of a tab. You know, these words tend to be very technical, but basically all that it means is that I'm going to cut a rectangle out of it, attach it to the top, and then just round the corners. I think it's just going to finish the card off and add a little bit more color and pattern to it. So after I've settled on the patterns I would like, I have just gone ahead and cut these into smaller rectangles. So I've measured the width of the card and then the, the length of it, I think I've made about three centimeters. And I'm just rounding the corners and adding it to the top with some glue. And I think that is looking really great. It's got a different pattern at the back, so it's not too boring to look at. It's got some color there. And of course, you can add more to the back if you would like to. I've also previously, with these cards, added another card at the back, another index card. And then I've only glued the top and the sides. And I've left one side open to create a pocket. And I also thought that is quite nice. So you could still do it with these cards. But I'm going to keep it really simple and try and not bulk it up too much. So these are the cards. They've turned out beautifully. I really love them and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one and take care. Bye!